Red onion. Delicious on sandwiches and salads and countless other things. But today in the Great Lakes kitchen, we're taking this ordinary red onion and kicking it up a notch. And I'm going to show you the most simple and basic way to turn this into pickled red onion. Now, even though we're using a mason jar for this, this is not going to be a canning video. This process or method for pickling that red onion is considered a quick pickle recipe or maybe called a refrigerator pickle recipe. And of course, when I say refrigerator pickle, I'm not talking about pickled cucumbers. How did cucumbers get a monopoly on just the word pickle? Any other vegetable, you gotta include the name of the vegetable in there, but you just say pickle, automatically cucumbers assume you're talking about them. Anyway, enough introduction. Let's get into this and I'll show you what I think is the best way to make the most delicious pickled red onions. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and get a kettle of water on the stove and we just want to get this to the point of boiling and we're going to use this water for uh, a couple of steps in this so while this is heating up we'll just move over and start working on our onion now what we're going to be using is a really sort of medium sized red onion and uh, of course the first thing I'll do is cut the ends off and uh, get rid of the peel And I'll cut it in half since that's what we're going to end up with anyway. It makes the peel a little easier to remove. Now what we want to do from here is slice these little sort of half moon uh, slices off here just about as thin as we possibly can. I know some people like to use a mandolin slicer for this and I have one but honestly I'm a little more comfortable and perfectly proficient with a sharp knife. And so that's what I'll use. All right, now we're just going to take some of our boiling water and pour it right over top of these onions in a bowl here. Just enough to cover them and we'll just kind of stir them around a little bit and we're just going to let this boiling water sit on these onions for only a minute or two and then we're going to strain that water right off of it. Now a lot of recipes skip or omit this step but I think that it helps contribute to a better texture for your finished product. So we'll just wait a minute or so and then strain this water off. So the onions are strained and we're just gonna set those aside for a minute and start making our brine solution. Now I'm gonna start with one half cup of white vinegar. Now I'll mention that a lot of recipes for pickled red onions call for uh, apple cider vinegar, either all apple cider vinegar or some half and half between apple cider and white vinegar. But I got to tell you, I really don't like that fruity flavor in my pickled vegetables that comes with the apple cider. In fact, I don't really care for the apple cider at all. I don't like it in salsa, pickled cucumbers, and especially not in pickled red onions. So I just go with the white vinegar. If for some reason you enjoy a fruitier taste in your vinegar, then maybe you wanna try a half and half with the apple cider, but I'm not gonna to touch the stuff. And then we're gonna take some more of that hot water from the kettle and add one and a half cups of the water, bringing us up to two cups in our little measuring cup. And to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and just about six or eight or 10 whole black peppercorns. And we'll give that all a stir to make sure that our solution dissolves all of that uh, salt and sugar. And that's it for our brine. We'll go ahead and set that aside for a minute and we're gonna get back to our onions. And for this, I'm using a wide mouth pint mason jar, which is just about the perfect size. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this full of my onion slices. 
Now these are still a bit hot from that boiling water I poured on them earlier, so I'll use some tongs and just pack as many of these in here as I can. Generally, one medium sized onion is just about perfect for a pint jar. So I was able to fit all of those in there and even, even have a little room to spare. Now, it doesn't get simpler than just pouring our brine over until we've completely covered those onions. In fact, I'll just bring it up to about, uh, I don't know, I'll leave it maybe a half inch of head space, even though it doesn't matter as long as I got those onions covered. And now this is going to end up going in the refrigerator, but since the water I poured in there is still pretty hot, I'm just going to leave it on the counter here for a little while until it uh, gets a bit cooler. Then I'm going to cap this and stick it in the fridge. Now again, this is a quick pickled red onion recipe and process. I am not hot water bath canning this. This is not considered a shelf stable uh, jar of pickled onions. Uh, this needs to be refrigerator pickled onions. You could do almost the same process, but then add hot water bath canning to the end of it. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going for refrigerator pickled onions. So again, after this is cooled down, maybe a little closer to room temperature, I'll screw a cap on it and stick it in the fridge. Now you want to let these sit at least overnight before you eat any of them. And they'll be good to eat after a day, but they'll be much better to eat after five, seven, even 10 days. So that of course means that I have to remember to make them in advance of, uh, you know, when I wanna have a recipe that calls for them, such as my carnitas tacos. And after letting them sit a couple, few days, you'll really start to notice the liquid in there turning a nice pink color and in the onions themselves turning a much richer pinkish, purplish color. Uh, that, that ends up looking like the pickled onions you might come to expect from a restaurant or, or so forth. Okay, so it's been about three whole days since I put these onions in the fridge. And as you can see, the color has really gotten a lot, uh, much more of a rich, almost neon pink. And uh, personally, I think they're just gorgeous. And these are ready to eat and enjoy. And there's about nothing I like these on better than uh, my pork carnitas tacos. And so that's exactly what we're making tonight. So next time you're looking for a delicious, zesty, tangy, amazing topping for your tacos or really anything else, give these pickled red onions a shot. As you can see, they're super easy and most of the time spent is really just waiting for them to get more delicious in the fridge. And if you like the looks of these carnitas tacos, well, keep an eye out on the channel because I absolutely intend to make a full video showing the entire process of how I make these in a future video. As for now, be sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date with all our latest stuff, including future pickling videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here in the Great Lakes Kitchen.